I think uh, one thing that is kind of different about emergency medicine than either like other specialties and even pre-hospital is that I'm mostly paid to not get tricked into missing something big. Mm -hmm. And that I think is hard to sometimes explain because like when somebody comes in and they've got like epigastric pain and they had like pizza the night before, like, like I know that looks like it's probably acid reflux and probably like 90% of the time it is, but they mostly pay me to find the 10% that's not. And so it can be tricky because sometimes I'll feel foolish, like putting in orders or not putting in orders for something. And, and like, sometimes what goes through my mind is like, oh, like I know this is probably not anything, but I always have to remind myself that like a few times it has been something that I've missed. And so sometimes that's the benefit of like seeing the labs down the, down the line as you realize, Oh man, I was totally wrong. I thought it was, mm-hmm. I thought it was acid reflux, but it turned out it was a, ended up like a high troponin and it was a heart attack. So I think that's one thing that's unique and it's hard to explain that to even specialists to where they're like, why did you get a, why did you get a CAT scan of that guy's aorta when it ended up being, you know, this or that. And it's because there's been a couple of times when it hasn't been, you know, or like a lot of times when it hasn't been, mm-hmm. that's very unique. I think to us too, in the pre hospital and emergency medicine realm compared to, you know, down the line of ways when we've filtered through a bunch of stuff. Um, but an important part of the job, you know, to realize that we're kind of the pessimists a little bit in mm-hmm. medicine of like thinking what all this could be. 